Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that a few months back I painted this anemone loose bouquet type thing. And I thought I'd try and recreate it today, but using red anemones to make it a bit more festive. So let's jump right into the video and start. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I am using my Etcher Lab Cold Press Watercolor Sketchbook, my Windsor Newton Professional Watercolors on my palette, my Princeton Snap Brush in a size 12 and six round, water paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so the trick with this loose painting is really kind of working on the contrast of light values and dark values. So more pigmented petals and then some that are more watery that are gonna be nice and transparent. It just kind of makes it flow and pop a lot more instead of just having like really dark flowers everywhere or really pigmented flowers. Okay, so I am gonna start off with this cadmium red. No, this isn't cadmium red, this is Windsor Red. Um, cadmium Red Deep is a good option if you're using cotton and colors, just a nice bright red. Okay, so we're just taking a lot of pigment on our brush. And we're gonna start off with an anemone petal, okay? So pointy end towards the middle and we're just gonna come up like a rough kind of teardrop shape upside down like that. So this is really pigmented as you can see. Then I am going to take my brush and I am gonna put it in my water and run it against the side to take some of that pigment off to make it waterier, lighter. And we're gonna do another one right beside it. So it's gonna be lighter and then you're gonna have it touch so you get kind of like a bleed. So see it's lighter, actually even more pigment off to make this petal lighter. And you get this nice kind of bleed into this light. See this little light area? I'm gonna take even more pigment off just by running it in my water. Do the same on thing on this side, touch it a little bit so you get that nice kind of color bleed. So you have some dark petals and some light petals. I'm just gonna do the rest of these petals lighter. Just moving that pigment around from that, like all that pigment is coming from that one dark petal basically. Okay. Just kind of fluffy petals going around like that, okay? And if you wanted to grab some more pigment and you know, tap it towards the inside. You could definitely do that too. Okay, so let's do another one. I'm gonna do one over here. So you can take more pigment again, start with a more pigmented petal. And you just really wanna make it nice and loose, okay? This one's gonna be more of a, a side angle. So we're gonna have petals curve that way. I'm gonna do a lighter one here. Grab a little bit more pigment and then like a scoop for a flatter petal on this side. Okay. Like so. Let's do another one down here. We're gonna kind of go in like a zigzaggy shape. So I'm gonna do a petal up here. It's gonna be more pigmented. It's gonna to touch that light pigmented one. Okay, and I just keep adding kind of water to my, my brush. I'm gonna have like a flatter petal on this side so it's a different perspective. Grab more pigment. So changing up the contrast of the petals just makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. Okay, now before we start doing any more flowers, I'm gonna add some greenery. So I'm just gonna mix all the greens that I have in here. I'm gonna grab some sap green And I'm gonna just start doing some petals or leaves so they can kind of run into and bleed with some of these um, petals while they're still wet, okay? So just touching them slightly and having that color bleed into the red in the petals, okay? But you're pulling the leaves away 
Okay, so it's going to drag that color out rather than it, the green coming into the petal and then having a big splotch of green there. You're dragging that petal out so the green kind of comes away from the petal. You'll get a color bleed, but it won't be ending up in the red flower. Okay. Okay, let's just start with this, just because I want a couple color bleeds. And you can even do some like little kind of jagged, rough greenery coming from it, because anemones have those little kind of spiky bits underneath. Just like that. Okay, let's do some more. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do small one up here, small one up here, staying with our diagonal kind of theme. So this one, you're just going to see kind of maybe a little bit of it, like three little petals like that. Okay, and then this one up here, we'll do a flat petal there, long petal on this side. And we're just really making it nice and loose. Long petal there, long petal there. Maybe even a light small one here. You can barely see it because it's so light. Just like little petal shapes. Doesn't even have to really be a flower. Okay, and then actually let's make one more down here. I'm gonna have it facing, like pointing down. So I'm gonna do our flat petal like that. Make sure it's in frame. Yes, okay, good. So when you're doing loose florals, there's not like, you can't really go wrong, okay? So don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't look exactly like this or whatever, just try to, fit in that contrast of the light and the dark petals. Okay, it's a loose floral piece. But it's these bits, like this light and dark contrast, that are really going to make it pop. Okay, let's get our green again. Do a little bit more greenery. Okay. So as you see, it's kind of on a diagonal here, right? I think I'm gonna put a bigger leaf stem coming down this way, like that. Okay, so now I think we should do some, you know, pine greenery. Maybe we should do some pine cones. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna take some burnt umber, kind of just making this up as we go along. Okay, so I'm gonna take some burnt umber, a lighter wash, and I'm just gonna do kind of like these upside down teardrop shapes. Really loose. Okay, leaving some white space in between, just using that shape of my brush to get these like teardrop shapes. So if I'm going this way, I'm gonna put it upside down so you have the little point coming in. You could always turn your paper if you need to, but leave some white space in between there. Okay. Maybe another one little, little one here. You're just kind of dabbing your brush and it should be kind of like in a little like teardrop shape itself, right? Let's do another one down here. that. Okay, and I'm going to get a bit more pigment, a bit darker brown here. And I'm just going to tap some of the areas to again, get a little bit of that dark and light contrast. So that first burnt umber that you're using, 
is a light wash. And now we're going back in with a little bit of darker pigment just to get a bit of contrast like that. Okay, we can do a little bit poking out over here too. Okay, there we go. Now let's change up our green with some maybe darker green leaves. So I'm gonna take my perline green here, which is a nice rich dark green. Um, you could use hooker's green and purple or whatever green you have in purple. And I'm just gonna do some darker, bigger leaves. Okay, just fill it in some of the white spots you think it could be used. You know, it can blend in with some of the pine cones if you want. And then with this, I'm going to take off a lot of that pigment. I'm going to do some really light colored ones and then more pigmented ones. Just gently kind of touching some of them. Okay. And then you're going to, again, going to get that contrast. Okay. So let's do a more pigmented, pigmented one. Okay. I'm going to wash off some of that. Get a little bit of water and do a light one. Just have those little color bleeds. Okay, now I say we do some pine. So I'm gonna start off with some burnt umber for the stem and I'm just gonna go and do some stems or like some evergreen needles, whatever. You could do some berries too if you want. I'm gonna grab some green. You can use light, dark, medium, whatever color you want. And you're just gonna do some festive pine needles coming off of those stems. And you can just add it wherever you think would look good. And then I think last but not least, before we do the centers of the flowers, maybe some like little mistletoe berries. So let's get this like light grayish white color. So I just like a really light wash of gray or blue. And we'll do some little like berries like this. I know you can barely see them. We're going to add some greenery after. So just a very, very light blue using more water than paint. Okay, then let's grab some sap green and we can just connect 
some of those berries and then have some little leaves coming off of them if you want. I don't know if that even makes a difference. You don't have to do this part. Don't know if I like it, <laughs> but it's done. We did it. Okay. And there we go. Let's make sure the centers of our flowers are dry. And now we're going to take some Payne's gray or whatever color you want for the centers. And you're just going to do in the center of the flowers, a little circle, kind of like that. And then you're going to do these tiny little lines coming out. And then at the end of the lines, you're going to do little dots. Now, depending on the way they're facing, so this one is facing this way, you're not going to see the little lines on the side, you're just going to see some dots. Okay, just has to do with the perspective. So this one, do your circle, it's pointing that way. You're going to see lines at the top here where the longer petals are. And little dots like that. Again, like that. And this one is kind of like a top down view, so you can do the lines all around. And little dots. One more thing, I'm just looking at it and thinking maybe I could add some darker, smaller leaves just for a contrast and shape too. So I'm just going to take some of that dark green and I think I'm going to just do some little lines like this and then some little, little leaves like that. So lines, just using the tip of my brush to do little buds on these leaves. Just for a difference in size. Okay. like that. And there you go. There is your loose floral holiday piece. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.